Therefore, I urge all of you to work together in upholding these standards, which will strengthen traditional medicine as a credible, sustainable component of modern healthcare. And therefore, I was delighted while looking at the models this evening to see the number of undergraduate students who are now being churned out of the institute at Goa and the postgraduate students who are being churned out of IR here. I've been the beneficiary of the expert medical care who have uh, by, attended by them to me. The fourth and last postulate is Ayurveda on the global stage. I was just speaking the other day to Dr. Manoj Nesri about his visit to Taiwan. And Dr. Nesri herself went to Geneva just last week. So the last postulate is, how can Ayurveda expand its reach and impact on the global stage? And what steps are necessary to ensure it meets international standards for safety, efficacy, and innovation? I address this problem because, and this issue because, Ayurveda today is not something which is in a cocoon confined to our society. But we are now talking about exporting our age-old knowledge, practices, and traditions of Ayurveda across the world. But to make it acceptable across the world, we must meet the cultural parameters of countries ranging from Germany to the US to the continent to South, the global South, to South Asia, across the world. And we have so many of these representatives of nations across the world, including from Switzerland, who are part of this distinguished audience today. As the world increasingly embraces holistic and alternative health care, Ayurveda's potential on the global stage has never been greater. According to a 2024 report by Market Research Future, the global Ayurveda market, valued at 8 billion US dollars in 2022, is projected to grow to 26.16 billion dollars by 2032, driven by increased awareness of Ayurveda's benefits, a growing demand for alternatives to allopathy, and rising disposable in incomes. But I would dare say that the time will come when Ayurveda will not be regarded as an alternative, but Ayurveda will become the basic dispenser of a holistic lifestyle. The booming medical tourism industry, particularly in states like Kerala, further highlights sustained interest in Ayurveda-based solutions for wellness and healthcare. 